Hi, this video is about the Caribou Mathematics Contest. I'm going to show the solution for the April 2013 Grade 5 6 Contest Question 13, which also came up in the Grade 7 8, 9 10, and 11 12 contests. So the question is Holly wrote a five digit number and multiplied it by nine. To her surprise, she obtained a number written by the same digits in the opposite order. Which statement about the original number is wrong? Hint. Determine this number first by considering what could be the first and the second digit. One also may find the rule of divisibility by 9 useful. The original number... So, let these be the 5 digits of the first number, and then multiply by 9 to obtain the second number, which is then the reverse of this number. So, let's look at the first digit of the original number. So, we know it obviously cannot be 0, or else it would only be a 4 digit number. And we know it cannot be 2 or greater, because 9 times 2 already would have a carryover, and that would already be 18, and that would give 6 digits and not 5. So we know that the first digit must be 1. So that means that 1 must also be down here because it is the reverse. So now we know that 9 times 1 must be 9 because we cannot have any carryovers because we only want 5 digits. So 9 times 1 is 9. And then we know that this must also be 9. So now let's look at the second di digit of the original number. So we know that there cannot be any carryovers of 9 times this number into this column because this must stay 1. So that means that it must be either 0 or 1. So let's try 1 first. Then we know it must also be here. And then since, again, we do not want any carryovers, 9 times 1, this must be 9. And then we know that this must also be 9. So, now we have 9 times 9 is 81. Then we put the 1, and then we have a carryover of 8. Then 9 times 9 is 81, plus the carryover of 8 is 89, and then we would put a 9, but we already have a 1 here, so we know that this does not work. So we know that the second digit of the original number must be a 0 and not a 1. So now let's look over here. We have 9 times 9 is 81, and then we put down the 1, and then we have a carryover of 8. Then, since we have a carryover of 8, and we have 0 here, this is like having 10. So 10 minus 8 would be 2. So 9 times this number here must have 2 in the 1's column. So the only number that suits that condition is 8 because 9 times 8 is 72. So 72 plus 8 is then 0 here, and then we have a carryover of 8. And also we know that this 8 must also be here. So now we know that, well let's look at the bottom number. We know that this number is 9 times some other number. So we know that this number must be divisible by 9. So the rule of divisibility by 9 is when you add up all digits, they must be a multiple of 9. So we have 9 plus 8 is 17, plus 1 is 18, which is a multiple of 9 already. So that means that this must be either a 0 or a 9. So let's try 0. And we know it must be here too. And then we have 9 times 0 is 0, plus 8, carry over, then here, but this is a 0, not an 8. So we know that this cannot be a 0, and it must be a 9. So now let's prove that.
And then we know that the 9 must also be here. So, we have 9 times 9 is 81, plus the carryover of 8 is 89. So we have 9 here, which we have. Then we have a carryover of 8. Then 9 times 0 is 0, plus the carryover of 8 is 8, which works. And then we have 9 times 1 is 9. So this all works. So we know the original number is 10,989. So now let's look at the options. So now it asks which statement about the original number is wrong. So A says the original number is less than 11,000. Well, this is correct because the original number is 10,989. So now let's look at B. It says the original number does not include the digit 7. Well, that is also correct because it is 10,989. So now let's look at option C. The original number does not include the digit 2. Well, that is correct because we know the number is 10,989. So now let's look at option D. The original number does, does include one digit twice. Well, that is correct because there are two nines. So now let's look at option E. The original number does not include the digit 8. Well, that is false because the number is 10,989. So we know that the answer must be E, does not include the digit 8, and that is false. So let's just prove that by checking over F and G. Option F says the original number does include the digit 1. That is correct because the original number is 10,989. So now let's look at the final option G. The original number does not include the digit 3, and that is correct because the original number is 10,989. So the answer is option E. The original number does not include the digit 8. If you'd like to know more about this contest, please feel free to visit our website at www.brocky.ca.